wildlife. Wildlife. And they're watching. Yes, eat the weeds. And your friend. Eat the weeds. Good bon bon. <laughs> Eat the weeds. Well, as soon as we walk over here, I'm sure they'll disappear pretty quick. Yup. <laughs> There's some coyote food for you. You better watch out. There's lots of coyotes around here. Anyways, let's flip you around. Good morning, tubes. It's bright and early. It's cool. I'm gonna try to do a bit of work before it gets stupid hot here again today. Holy cow. We are like the same temperature up here the last couple of days as like mid Florida <laughs> well, it's been pretty hot so open her up and let's get in the shed here oh I gotta unlock it that too there we go let's get in the shed here today we are going to start to work on the cooling system let there be light on the cooling system yeah see this is the I'm facing the east here now, where the sun's rising, so when I look this way, it goes kind of dark, but if I go this way, we're nice and bright. So, yes, we're going to work on the cooling system today. We got the uh, brand new radiator for the 800 in here. I haven't even looked at it yet, so hopefully it's all good. Uh, and then we got the shroud there to mount to it. I got the, uh, the bolts to hold that shroud on here. I painted them red. Uh, I thought, nah, that'd be alright. Uh, I've got the new uh, hose. These clamps, uh, well, I don't know, I might reuse... That's probably like an original one. I don't know if I'm going to reuse it or not, but uh, we'll uh, have to maybe grab a, an R1. And then we need another couple for the other side too. So, we've got some stuff to do, but let's crack this radiator box open here first. And uh, see how she looks. All right, she is stapled together. So let's try to eliminate them first. The staples that are really sharp and cut you, and it's pulled out pretty good. And it's taped, I think, too here. Should get her. Let's see what other packing things that they put in here with it. Come on, lock. Stupid lock. Ooh, foam. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna pull the whole thing out. There we go. <laughs> Foam. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, let's throw the box down here. And get her down on her backside. It's nice, it even comes with uh, a plastic overflow tube. That should last for a lot of years, I would hope. And, uh, many different mount holes I see for that shroud so that's good hopefully one of mine fits the other one only has one about there maybe so one two three it's got even got uh, I guess if you wanted to run it the other way I don't know I don't think you would but let's grab the shroud here now and see if it fits okay now let's see if I can remember how this went on here was uh, I think it was that way. That guy. I think it was that way. 
Yeah, I believe so. I just don't 100% remember now, but uh, I think that was close. We'll just uh, try to hold one here again, maybe. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, oh we'll scratch the paint. Now I kind of wish I did this thing in red because it would look pretty good red too, but now all the bolts are red. So that should. Pretty much line up, I think. Two and it's not very perfect. Not very perfect. Something will go off the shelf from there. That's closer there, but they're supposed to be locked in. Now let's throw a couple of bolts in here. Might have to adjust it once we get the. Uh, Once we get the actual uh, fan in there, we might have to adjust it a bit. He's a little bit warpied. Oh, don't scratch the paint. Don't scratch the paint. Gosh, I hate slotted screws. They're terrible. 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 And you watch the other side won't line up at all. <laughs> Most likely it's what's gonna happen. Now I'm just gonna kinda snug these a little bit. Yeah, do that one just a hair. Um, get the other side in. And for some reason, I don't think that I've got this exactly right. I think it's got to go up to the top here. Because the other one went right to the top. And uh, there wasn't really... Uh, I guess I drill another tiny little hole. I'm at the top one now on the bottom. So, I mean, that's about as high as she's going to get as of right now. Could go up one more hole, but then the top one won't line up. There's two holes. There's two holes here, three down here, but only one up here. I bet you that's not going to be high enough. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just loosely put these in here for now, I guess, and then if it uh, oh, this doesn't line up here at all on this one. Holy smokes, um, it's a mile off on the middle one here. That one's good there, though. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, well, let's uh, see if we can pull these out again. Maybe line her up on another slot. That's not going to work. So what I had a, a fear of is, you know, this thing's going to be... exactly the same. It should be, because this is exactly what it's for. It's for the Jubilee, the, all the way up through the 100 series tractors. That's when they went to this style of radiator. So, let's pull out these again. And I'm going to see if it'll go a little higher, because at the top, it won't have a mount. probably have to do well that bottom's way off too my miles pretty sure it's got to be right up top 
I mean, I guess you could run it without a shroud. It just helps kind of funnel the air through the through the system, through the radiator. Wow, this is way off. <laughs> I've got those two here. Still slinking down a little bit, though. I got. I get these two. I'm gonna get uh, what I can get mounted, I guess, and then we'll get that uh, water water pump on. It's a long way. Yeah, we'll get the water pump mounted and then we'll see where it sits from there, I guess. That's about all we can do. This one's way off too. Holy smokes. Partially could be the out a little, uh, you know, warped. I think it's a little warped over here. Okay, so that one and that one's in. Over here, <laughs> we're out by like a long way. This one's back is kind of nowhere near. So I think we're gonna have to probably drill a couple more holes in this thing and I don't really understand why because it should be all the same bolt pattern you'd figure but uh, no something's different with this one something is different didn't really feel like it went in too well there okay so this back one here is really close, but this one on the front is quite a piece out. Got those two, and then that one is not far actually on the front side here. I might be able to sneak this one in. Over here, this one. That's kind of odd how these, this side seems pretty good. The other side, not pretty good. like those so you know what I might actually end up getting some really short self tappers because you don't got a whole lot of room well you got a little bit of room because you've got like the edge of the fins and then the first like tube so you have a little bit of room but you know what I think I might uh, just get some self tappers for that but we'll leave those kind of there for now and uh, let's get the water pump mounted on her here and see uh, how well that is because those don't even seem to really be kind of biting in I think the holes even a little bit too big for for in there so so that kind of sucks oh uh, you know what else too I just noticed this didn't come with any mount bolts so I'm gonna have to do those as well darn it and I gotta have to make some of these pads as well so I'll do them and uh, we'll get ready to mount this thing on I'll have to get some uh, carriage bolts I guess for that that will slip inside of these things and then you can tighten them down hopefully it fits on the tractor never thought of trying that yet but 
Uh, let me go down and get some carriage bolts. See what I got for that. Okay, I got some huge bolts. Huge isn't really long. I think they'll work in there. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of a, pardon me, a biggish, big enough slot, but I guess they're meant for, well, I don't know what size those ones are, but they're definitely too long, so I'll have to, uh, well, I'll have to probably cut them. Is what I'm thinking. And then I gotta build some more of these. I've got some uh, baler belting. I'm gonna do some more of those. I'll just cut circles with a hole saw on my drill press. There goes the nut. <laughs> yes, in the drill press. And then those will mount between that and the uh, little bracket of the tractor. The circles will look a little nicer. You won't see them anyways, but. Uh, okay, so I brought my, uh, and I should have used it before, I never even totally forgot about this stuff for the ceiling between gaskets is this uh, stuff from Loctite. Works really good, that anaerobic stuff. And uh, it won't uh, create a seal, we'll say, or it won't uh, cure until there's no air present. That's what the anaerobic means. And uh, it's really good stuff because uh, anything on the inside, it'll just kind of do whatever and it won't, you know, create a hard bead of stuff like a silicone wooden that might break off and then start cycling through your engine, right? So gonna use some of that uh, that should be all right though should maybe get in here and try to mount that on just to see how it looks on the bracket hopefully it fits okay well let's see here one side has got a slot on it which is nice but the other one of course I took the wrong one off <laughs> okay I can just switch them around It could be a real knob and leave those like that, but uh, I also got to bolt that thing up too. Forgot about that guy. Um, yeah, I could leave those threads out long, but I'll, I'll hit them with a hacksaw and then leave enough for a flat washer and then a lock washer and then uh, the nut, of course. But uh, yeah, this is where I'm a bit concerned is where the fan and stuff's going to sit. So we'll work on that next. And that looks pretty good there. I'm liking the looks of that. Mm hmm. Should be good. And then the, uh, of course, the water pump has the one that goes to the other one. So, okay. It looks pretty darn close down there on this bracket here, though. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to have to try to maybe get that up higher, which means probably drilling more holes because I bet you it won't fit perfect with that uh, fan in there. But, uh, Let's uh, get the gasket out for that. We'll get her gooed up and uh, slap her on. All right, I roughed up the surface a little bit, gave it a bit of a cleaning, a little bit, a little bit more something to bite to this stuff. And I don't know what's left in this tube, but there's a bit. That's all we need. So we got us to spread this around. A lot of this will smush out, but you don't need a good thick layer of this stuff. It does work pretty good. Funny big huge area here we gotta try to seal up now, right? Got it all smushed. A little bit over here. Should 
should be pretty good. Whoa, whoa. It's funny, it's only half a gasket too. Okay, if that'll stay there, I'm gonna try to smush some on this other side. I got enough left here. All we got. Now the gasket itself will absorb a little bit. Should, anyways. It feels like it's kind of absorbed a bit. And then we gotta get in there and I gotta fight with the little wee bolts, little 5 16 bolts. stuff. It's very expensive stuff though up here anyways. It's about 30 bucks, 35 bucks a tube depending on where you get it. Okay, that should hopefully hold everything together while we get in here. And uh, yeah, this actually I didn't need to coat that. I totally forgot about that because that side doesn't actually do anything. It just it's down here. So anyways, let's get back in the container. We'll mount her up. Okay, I never had a whole lot of success with gaskets and staying in place. Oh, that one's kind of short. Mm. Might have to adjust my voltages here a little bit. My bolts are a bit too short, I think. Oh. Okay, well, unfortunately I don't have long enough bolts. I have longer bolts, but they're too long. I don't really want to cut like three threads off, so I'm going to go with no lock washers and just put on some thread locker. If these things will stay here for me, that would be really helpful. Um, okay, we gotta pretty much go this way right here. And uh, it's really tricky getting in there, so I'm gonna grab a the washer. Well, let's reset here now. Okay, I think I made her successful. And uh, I don't know how you're supposed to get in here without an extension. There's a comment left there. Well, don't use an extension on a, on, a, on a torque wrench. I'm like, well, yeah, okay. But if you want to try to get some sort of torque to it, you're out of time, you're going to use a, an extension, just saying. Time. Hundred and ninety inch pounds, twelve to sixteen foot pounds. What's that? And this one here. Come on, babe. 
baby. Go ahead, I thought I was gonna strip. Good. Good. some some blue on those guys that blue is good for like vibrations and stuff like that so if it ever has to come off it's not too hard to get those out again um, okay this could technically be tightened up now too on the alternator here Okay, I got a special thing for this. I'm just not sure where I put it now. Uh oh. Okay, we got that on. We got this ready to go here. I got to get tightened down. Get our uh, half inch wrench. Go the right way. Tight belt. It's not aligned too well though, I don't like that. It's definitely going forwards a lot. Maybe I cranked it on too tight. Or it could be this bracket down here, the old bracket I'm using. actually not too too bad it's not perfect if this was back a hair more it would have been really good but to me the alternator looks like it's kind of sitting this way which is probably something to do with the bottom mount I would think it's got a bolt on it but uh, let's just unloosen that again for a second here It's just this way a hair, but uh, I think that's all we can do. Got a good bite there, so that's good. All right, I cut some little discs. Look what I did to my thumb today, my other hand. Man, I'm just so hard on myself. Actually, I think that was one of my, uh, <clears throat> I have psoriasis. I don't know if you guys knew, but I have psoriasis for about seven or eight years. Oh, that's another story, but anyways. Uh, uh, so I got some discs cut. They should be good. They should fit there. I got these bolts shortened and they should be good. We're gonna go mount this on. I brought some little uh, self tappers for that little shroud. I think I'm gonna use maybe some of them. I got my guy here ready to put those on and uh, there should be enough room just to get through the metal and then it'll dip into those fins a bit. It shouldn't go into the tube though. <laughs> that would suck. 
I'll be careful, just make sure. But anyways, uh, here we go. Okay, boy. Let's see here now what's this going to do here. So, we'll get this one. That should be all right. We'll get this one mounted first here. And, uh, oh, wait a minute, let me think about this now. <laughs> I'm gonna think upside down. Okay, so that one's lighter. Oh my goodness, this thing's heavy. Oh my goodness. So uncoordinated, it's so hot out here. I'm only jumping. Uh, okay, so that one. Okay, let's get this one just in here first. Good, and then we'll get the rubber on that'll hold that. Rubber just gives it a little bit extra, you know, to, to sit on. size bolts. I just didn't feel like going to the store again for more bolts so I didn't bother. Okay, get on her bud. Holy smokes. Jeez, right? Night and day boys here, night and day. Alright, it's not looking too bad. I'm just gonna get these nuts and bolts, nuts, and stuff on here. If it'll allow me. If it'll allow me, I'll get these on. On fire before. Come on, really? Uh, always got to be something. Eh? I just want to check this one here. It's being kind of a dink. There's nothing really to hold now, right? I mean, really? It's got a little bit of a or something there. And we'll check it once we get her kind of mounted. We'll give her a check here and see Clearing the shroud good. I'm thinking it's going to be fine because I think the fan's quite a bit smaller. Okay, I think we're golden. Make sure she's right back there and I'm going to crank her down with my half inch. Nope, sorry, wrong, nine sixteens. That's going the right way. Yeah, you know, I thought for all it's worth, for a radiator, I got the hood and everything off now. You know what, I got her all open. We might as well do it. So we did. Okay, that's fairly solid, but the hose holds it too. So let's get the hose on. That'll hold it a bit too, but let's make sure we got clearance here. Oh yeah, we're good. Lots of room. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're 
fine, lots of room, okay. That is good, I like that. Uh, okay, so let's get a couple of hoses, and the bend hose, and we need four clamps. Gotta find four little clamps. Okay, I'm liking where that shroud's sitting. I'm gonna try to drive in uh, one of these screws. I have a little driller on the end, a self tapping. I want to watch her. Oh, I don't know if I can see that now. And I don't want to hit that tube. Oh boy. I think we're going to be all right. <laughs> Maybe I should put a washer behind. Maybe I'll get a washer. That would maybe make me feel a little better. Well, here goes the tube. Hopefully not. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> should be. Yeah, I think that'd be great. Okay, let's do another one at the top because I don't like how these screws in. You weren't the greatest. Sometimes, yeah, they don't drill. They have a little drill bitty thingy on the end though, right? Yeah, that'll hold that, I think. Uh, maybe see what I need on the other side. Put a couple over there, maybe. Uh, we're actually behind the radiator anyways here, so we're good. That's more better. Lovely. Just lovely. Okay. I got some clamps. Let's get the hoses on now. All right. Let's work on this top one. And we did put a thermostat in here. We did, right? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Pretty sure we did. And uh, leave those on, I guess. Now I want those. Yeah. Flip that one around. Okay, here's hoping that this is not a leaky radiator, because that would suck. So, that on there. Uh, this was a specific hose for this one. Okay, I'm going to use my, uh, this guy here. And Get those a little more after. I want that to be a little more on. Not a little more on, a little more on. Like that. And now, I'll just torque it up here a bit. That should be good. All right, I'm liking it. Now the bottom one, get you on the other side. All right, got both clamps facing up. Got a little flange thing on there, that's good. And get that one on there, maybe. Oh, I need a bigger clamp, I think. I don't think these are gonna work, they're almost to the limit now. Okay, I'm gonna switch clamps, I guess. Well, I switched this clamp, and I think it'll be alright, but this one on the bottom, I don't know. She might not work. I 
get her down there and started. That one shoved on the water pump. Feels pretty good. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work though. Oh, that one didn't go on the way I wanted it to. <sighs> I put it on the wrong way. I guess I flipped it around maybe. style of clamp it served well for a lot of years I guess so we'll get her serving again should be all good definitely an old style clamp but let's see if she'll tighten down again here doesn't even have a thread or a hex on it I'm going to drive home with her. Why not? And this little guy. I think we're going to mix up some coolant too. Mix up some coolant and get that going. smokes <laughs> well let's have a look in the rad here well, I don't know how much this is going to take but Ooh. pretty gross pretty gross but I think it's going to be oh there's my light should be all good they pressure test everything right so looks like there's a probably should have rinsed this out first I presume they would have but who knows should be all going through the engine Anyways, I'm going to mix up some, some stuff. And I'm hoping that's in the closed position. And where was the drain on the other one? It was on the bottom of this piece. So that's interesting. Hopefully that's not going to pose a problem. It's on the front of the other one there. Anyways, I got my coolant jug. Coolant. We're going to mix some up and uh, start pouring it to her, I guess. Okay, so we got some turbo power. The old girl. Low silicate, aluminum compatible. Compatible with heavy diesel, heavy duty diesel engines. And we're going to mix 50 to 50. 50 water, 50 antifreeze. That'll give us a minus 37. Could go a little thicker, I guess. I might, I don't know. We got a measuring dewey here too. We'll see what it's sitting at. We'll get this in here and I'll go get some, some water out of the river. No, I'm just kidding. Water out of the tap thingy. Oh, okay, that'll work. So, just for fun, let's test pure stuff. Oh boy, she's good and thick. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. He's right up there anyways, we've got a freeze of, well, lots. Okay, that's good. Let's get this in here, make sure that's... Yeah, it's still pretty good. That was a color of a day. 
Apparently the animals love it. I don't know why you'd want to drink that, but I guess it's sweet. It's very poisonous. I could have got pre-mixed stuff, but I'm like, ah, I can mix coolant. All right, let's go get a jug of water. Okay, jug of water, just for fun. Let's see how much. Uh, not too much in straight water, is there? Um, <laughs> minus nothing. And yeah, not good. Okay, so we'll dump some of this in here to thin that out a little bit. And give her a measure. Fresh water from the ground. I'll run through my softener and filtering system. And they say soft water, I did some research, and they say softened water is, is the best. People were using RO, or distilled water, and that's not good because in the water, has been stripped full, or stripped right out of, what should I put in there? It's been stripped right out of all the minerals, so it goes to, what do they call that, electrosis or something, and it tries to suck all the minerals out of your, whatever you put it in. And that wouldn't be a good thing. Now, where's my lid? I guess we won't use a, oh, I got a lid in there. Hang on, I'm going to grab a lid for that thing. Just so I don't get it all over me, and I probably will anyway. Okay, let me give her some shaking. And how am I going to get a sample now out of there? Well, sitting we're about minus should get a little more in there maybe there now we've got a good sample oh, we're about minus 48 Celsius maybe there freeze point and boil of mm, about 100 and mm, 129 we're a little higher than the what they recommend so that's probably good there I didn't quite put the whole jug in but we'll go dump this into the tractor then I got another jug if we need it all right hopefully no leaking Everything's all buttoned up, <laughs> hopefully. We'll find out. Go the radiator and I'll have to should start filling from underneath too and then come up level here. Burble one will air out. Hopefully it's gonna go all through the block and the head. We'll probably have to run it. I don't know if we'll get to that today. If they don't have any exhaust system or fuel thing hooked up. I think we got any leaks. It's looking pretty good. Which is a good thing. Somewhere. It's gone in somewhere. Well, that's good. Now, 
Well, it's right up to the top pretty well there. I'm going to add a mix up a bit more. Maybe I see some slight bubbles coming out. But we're definitely higher than the hose here, so there should be. Well, I don't know yet. Well, you can see it kind of slurging a bit there. It's got some in it, but uh, I'm going to go mix up another jug. I'll just keep it. If we need it, we need it. We don't, we don't. Okay, we'll go a little more. We're just above the tubes in there, so. You know why I see this stuff makes me thirsty? <laughs> it's like Kool Aid. Some kind of thirst quenching drink. Wouldn't get too far drinking that one though. It's going to need a bit of room to expand or it's going to find that overflow tube. Hair more maybe then. I might crank it over tonight. I'm not really ready for a start start yet. I don't that's good. That's not the way, so I'll trip on it and knock it over. And uh, I just want to put the battery in here, maybe just crank it and see if there's any funny noises. What the heck kind of red cap is this? Jeez. Okay, I'll get the battery. Hopefully, it's got some juice in it. And uh, we'll crank it over and just listen for anything funny. If we can hear over the starter, that is. Okay, the coil is unplugged. I have knocked the block over. I have uh, put a battery in. I don't know if there's any juice in this battery. I did hear a big <laughs> out of the rad, so it's got a big air bubble out. I just want to cycle it a bit. Make sure we don't hear anything funny. Here we go. It's got no plugs in it right now, right? That's why it's spinning so nice, but that'll get things rolling over real good. I want to feel some compression while I'm cranking if I can. I'm not going to do a test though, I don't think. Compression test, I'm not going to bother with that. There's some compression there, let me tell you. When I stick my thumb in there, it blows my thumb out, and it's actually hot. That's how much compression that thing's making, so that's good. All right, I just want to crank her a bit more, and we'll check the level of the coolant. Sounds good, though. It's not running, mind you, but it sounds good. It's actually building oil pressure there, believe it or not. I can see it coming up the line. Going back down now. Got like 10 psi of oil pressure built up there. I'm <laughs> just cranking it over. Hey, that's working pretty good. Sounds good. Starter, you know. Um, but wow, yeah, the compression that thing's putting out. Holy smoke. I just hope it was that uh, head and those valve guys that was letting that blow by come out, uh, you know, out through them, but we'll find out, I guess. All right, let's just check this. Silly rad cap. What the heck? Yeah, it's still up there pretty good. I'm just going to let this sit overnight and she'll gurgle and fart and stuff, but yeah, no plugs in it. I want to do the ignition system here, the, uh, you know, all this stuff before we kind of fire it up. So that might be our next video, new plugs in it. New wires, new rotor, new cap, new um, coil, redo all that. And then she should be golden. Got to hook up the tank, hook up the uh, exhaust thingy there. I probably won't film that though, but I'll film doing the uh, ignition stuff. But the miscellaneous little stuff here like this, and I'm sure there's something else I forgot. I probably won't film putting that on, but because um, it's kind of a pain in the rear end, <laughs> honestly. So, but holy smoke, she is almost there, boys. And hopefully this carburetor's all good and not having a problem. Better not be. 
not leaking or something funny on us. And there we go. All right, I'm gonna leave her there for tonight. So thanks again for watching. It's really hot out here. I want to get inside where it's cool. Better unhook this battery. Oh, geez, tripod. Better unhook this battery here. Seemed like it was charging up pretty good there, cranking it over pretty good. Need to do cables too. Well, this one's probably fine, but that negative, yeah, yeah. The cable's probably fine, but the, yeah, probably should do them. That's the uh, wire for the lights when we put the hood back on here soon, but ignition will be next, I think. New plugs, new wires, new rotor, new cap, new points in there. Uh, I think I said that, and new uh, coil for it too, so. All right. Well, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. It's really hot out here, like I say, and I'm going home. <laughs> and uh, we got her full of water, mixed all up, ready to go. So that is good. It'd be nice to uh, get this thing finished. I do agree with you. It's been taking a while, but one thing led into another. Oh, no, let's rephrase that. One thing bled into another. Okay. Well, I think we're good. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today, and uh, you guys have a good day.